Hello everyone, Chad Mancini here and today I'm showing you how to configure an IPv6 tunnel using Hurricane Electric's uh, IPv6 tunnel broker website. So <clears throat> uh, if you go to tunnelbroker.net you can create a IPv6 tunnel. Uh, you can sign up for one and they'll give you a slash 64 routed block. Okay, And um, this info is already pre-populated. Okay. <clears throat> the reason that you want an IPv6 tunnel is if your internet provider does not support IPv6 or you don't have an IPv6 uh, connection, uh, but you want to surf around on IPv6 only websites or you want to learn how IPv6 works, you're going to need a tunnel. Pretty much what this tunnel is doing is going from my router, okay, all the traffic destined for IPv6 will go from here to Hurricane Electric and Hurricane Electric will relay it out to IPv6 websites on their IPv6 backbone. Okay, this is really cool. Um, now I see online uh, the what what kind of persuaded me to make this video is that I see a lot of people asking, um, oh, I have a DHCP server at home and our DHCP internet service at home. I install Hurricane Electric and then a couple of days later it stops working. I noticed one thing on this website. Now, this site is kind of cool by when you click on example configurations, depending on what router you have at home, if it's an Apple Airport, Checkpoint, Firewall, Cisco, iOS, Juniper, it's here. Okay. Now, if I click Cisco iOS, I notice one thing. We just oops if we just paste this <clears throat> this is the issue here okay all this is great until it gets here now the tunnel source address is showing up as an old like I guess you have a detection of what my IP was at the time okay and what they do is they make the tunnel source your public IP at the time but the, my IP has changed since then so this config is not gonna work and on top of that when your IP does change you'll have to go back in and put in your updated IPv4 address in this field here so it's a double whammy first your router config is broken and now the IPv6 the other end of the IPv4 tunnel to uh, the IPv6 tunnel is, is broken. So this is a quick and simple fix. Okay. I'll show you first. Okay. We're able to ping google.ca over on IPv4 um, over an IPv4 connection. Okay. If I want to do ping and then go to an IPv6 Google it's not going to work. IPv6 is, there's, first of all, it doesn't recognize the host or address, and the protocol is not running, of course, because it's not enabled on this router yet. So, what we're going to do is modify the config to allow it to up, to basically, we're going to make this tunnel source, the source will be our WAN interface. Okay, I'll show you how we'll do that. So first, you can copy this info. Okay, this configuration and just paste it in there like so okay now for the tunnel source okay we're gonna do tunnel source in my case f0 slash 0 that is my WAN interface so that's the interface that's gonna be now the source it'll get its source IP from the WAN interface okay and now you can just copy the rest. Okay. Now let's try to ping Google's version 6 IP. Boom. Right away, I'm able to ping Google's IP version 6. Okay. You can even now do traceroute IPv6 google.ca. And you can see how the IPv6 routing is. Okay, so I thought I made this short video. I'm going to make a couple more videos because another thing I should mention to you is that this will not um, right away 
work on your land. So, for instance, if I go to the PC that's on the land and go ping six google.ca, it's not going to work. There's still some configuration to be done. You need to enable the HTTP v6. You have to do a couple of different things for it to work, but there's very light things. And then we're going to do a couple of exercises on Wireshark and we'll see the differences uh, on the wire between IPv6 and uh, IPv4. So I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions or comments about any one of my videos, leave them in the comment section below. Please visit my website, seanmancini.com. And as always, thank you for watching, everyone.